Welcome everybody into this new Shopify video tutorial. In this video, let's take a look how we can add a planner, a calendar booking into our Shopify store. So there's actually two ways that we can do this, but I'm going to be showing you just the one way that is actually really, really simple because the other option is to actually add that into the edit page and adding a lot of code. But since we are just starting with the Shopify store and we want to do things uh, more easier, uh, we just don't want to bring our, our own ideas, right? So let's get started. What we want to do is to sign into our Shopify store. We do already have this opened. So if you don't have an account, if you don't have a store already set it up, you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, so you can get a up to 15 days of the, of the Shopify and see all the elements that connect can be connected into your own store. So what I want to do here is to after I sign it in, I'm going to see my dashboard. I don't want to be focusing in here into the setup guide. What I want to do is to follow the app section. So in here, what I want to do first of all is to go into all the applications and I want to go into directly into the Shopify app store. Uh, here into the Shopify App Store, there are a lot of applications that can be helping us to improve the quality of our store. But in today's video, I want to focus into the search bar. If you want to find an application that can fill out all you need, you just need to tap into a, a specific keyword. For example, here I want to go for the booking application, something like that. So I'm going to hit into enter. Now I do have this different options where I can um, add, for example, here I have the easy appointment booking. I have the e easy appointment booking for probable commerce. I have typo or typo and I do have a lot of options, but here I'm going to be focusing into these two applications that I already know how to be worked on. If you want to check it out, like there are so many ways to choose one to um, I want to make sure that it says free plan available because you don't want to pay for more options, right? So I'm going to be focusing here into the easy appointment booking. Then I want to choose the add app. So this is going to be redirecting into the request menu section to connect your store into the easy appointment booking. I'm going to be closing this and choose install application. Now we do have access into this application. If you go into the apps, here is the easy appointment booking. You can pin that to your navigator if you wanted to. And then I'm going to be closing this for a second and choose create your first event. So select a product that you want to take appointments for. If you don't have any product, you can create a new product. So what we want to do is to create use the new product just to uh, start here to making bookings and all that. So I'm going to go into add your products and in here, I'm just going to tap something like example file one, example one. And then what I want to do is to put a small price and hit into save. Let's see if there's something that I needed to create my product. As you can see, it has been created successfully. So once again, into your applications, open your easy appointment booking. So what I want to do is to create my first event, select a product. Here is my example file. Let's say that this is like a service that you want to provide to your customers. So I'm going to go into add and here it says create an event for and this is the name of your service or your product or whatever you're selling into your store. Choose that option and what's going to happen here is the dashboard of the event. So here into the event name, we want to change our name. Let's say, for example, booking for example client. Here we have some variant. Uh, this is just for um, different tools, or different products that you might be have a variance. I do only have one option, so you don't have to be worrying about that. Team availability. This is something that can be added as you have more slots that work with your schedules. So since we are only one person here, we don't want to be focusing in here. But if you want to add a new availability, let's say, for example, uh, we want to focus into the person who's going to be managing here the 
the appointment. So the first name of this one, let's say that this is Tom, uh, Tom Hanks. And then the email, here it is, the phone number, the contact link, um, the location, the where you want to make this schedule. And here, as you can see on Mondays, Tuesdays, you can customize this as you want it to. And then you can go into set your specific hours. So you can add those. For example, I have an override that it's not available. And then if you want to connect the Google Calendar, you can do that, but you need a pro feature, a pro feature, but I don't want to focus in here. I, I think it's more than enough that I have the easy appointment section. So I just want to go into safe. And once I have that option, what I want to do, you want to define how long the appointment will be. Let's say that this is going to be up to 60 minutes and maximum number of the 10. So I'm going to choose only one. The buffer time, sometimes the buffer uh, goes into 5, 10 minutes. I'm going to get into 10. And here you can input the event details of your own um, appointment. After that, you can see the notes if you want to add notes for your customer. You can see the location. Here into the location, you can add a personal location and you can add this into a Google Calendar invitation. So if the Google Calendar invitation is synced, it, this uh, section is going to be enabled. And if this is just like a Zoom call or something like that, you can just uh, avoid this and paste the custom link form from your Google Meet or your Zoom or whatever you're going to be using. And here we have the customer booking options. So you can choose on a specific date just in case that you already took an appointment. I can select on a start today here or starting today. And we can allow the customer to book anytime until I explicitly disable the event until a specific date, until a specific number of days into the future. So I do want to focus into the second option. And in here, let's say I want to focus into eight days into the future. Do you need lead time before a customer book with you? Yes, I need time to prefer uh, to prepare before booking, let's say just 20 minutes. The checkout options, I don't require a checkout to confirm the booking. And this time is going to be looking at our customized appearance. We can see week by week or a monthly calendar. You want to just focus in here, it kind of looks like uh, more professional. And here you can enable the notifications if you just want to uh, stick around with all the notifications of your customers and all that. You can go into saved and publish this event. I'm going to just wait a few seconds. And then what's going to happen here that the booking has uh, has been published. So what I want to do is to take a look into my store just to make sure everything looks right. So as you can see, here is the example file. Here's the store. Uh, as you can see, it appears as sold out because I put that into calendar of today. And here you can choose select a time and here is going to be appearing our uh, sections, our files, our event details. Let's say that I choose this option at 2 p.m. And I can choose book now. And the person just needs to first email, last name, phone and confirm the booking. Just easy peasy, guys. So hopefully, guys, this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this uh, applications for Shopify. Good luck with your store. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.